Hey, greetings, folks. So, uh, I've been having a hard time getting out on the water lately. Uh, my move has still got me deeply occupied with uh, getting our new house in Connecticut ready and selling our house in Queens, and it's just endless work. Here's Alan with the first keeper flounder of the day on bad dog sport fishing in Suset Harbor, Cape Cod, and uh, we found Captain Mike Fowler through uh, Facebook posts of uh, fellow anglers that fished with him as they were also um, up in Cape Cod to go to Nantucket Shoals and uh, target Big Dormat Fluke like we all enjoy doing and uh, this seemed like a great diversion um, I guess they got blown out where they couldn't make it out to the shoals one day and somebody hooked them up with Captain Mike Fowler well what an awesome treat because uh, here on Long Island we don't catch winter flounder the way we used to uh, I'm 55 years old and back when I was a kid uh, we used to literally be able to fill buckets, if not garbage cans, with winter flounder, blackback winter flounder, many times, or even yellowtail flounder, um, which are similar species. So they are much like their summer flounder cousins, which we refer to as fluke, but um, they are smaller and they are not quite as predatory in the form of having nasty teeth in their mouth. Um, they eat smaller food like grass shrimp, worms, mussels, clams, broken up clams, and so on. Um, a lot of softer food, I guess, and not as much fin fish in their diet. So winter flounder are really delicious. Their meat is very soft. It's kind of sweet. And man, you put that on the plate and it is a super treat. There is rarely fish better to eat. One of my all-time favorites. So I was very excited to learn that we could go up to Cape Cod and catch them so well. So please stay tuned and uh, we'll continue on with the action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get to that a good orange spot. Cajun cricket is the killer right there. Ah. The orange Cajun cricket. Yeah, I don't know what it is about that one. Yeah, right in the bucket. Swing him in, 
Thanks, Wigan Man. Oh, nice one. There you go. So here you're going to get a glimpse at my rig and uh, you see my painted bright green sinker and there's a couple of my hooks and I'm using short shank Chester Towns. I'm not really sure what size they are but flounder fishing requires pretty small hooks. Their mouths are small, they have uh, thick fat little lips and again uh, you see the middle bait there with the black grub that has a muscle on it and I'm threading strips of uh, skim or clam onto the other two hooks. I'm using a three hook rig and I have a little bit of a plastic spreader bar on top to keep the hooks spread out and from tangling themselves. Uh, just a little piece of plastic tubing that I fitted around the leader and it's all brightly colored and uh, I've always found that winter flounder, uh, they're attracted to those bright colors. They see the movement and that attracts them. They come check out what's going on and they find uh, delicious treats that they enjoy and they're aggressive and they, they jump on those uh, mussels and clam strips and of course sandworms, bloodworms were traditionally used. Uh, but uh, here Captain Mike says that the shellfish baits are working really well at the present time, so that's what we're going with.
So winter flounder are generally not really large fish. Um, you know, they go from one to three pounds if you're lucky. Uh, they can get bigger, but they generally, you won't see them much bigger than two or three pounds, which is a really nice healthy fish. So we fish them light. I'm using a Bass Pro Shops Team Extreme 8 to 17 pound test rod, 10 pound test Power Pro Braid, and uh, I'm using an Abu Garcia 5000 or 5600 reel. Um, and that's all you need. You don't need anything fancy. You don't need anything uh, too tough, too heavy. You can go very light and go sporty. And they give you a really nice tussle. It's a lot of fun. Bottom bouncing. Mike, thanks for a great day. I really enjoyed myself. Absolutely. Haven't seen flounder fishing like this in uh, probably since the early 2000s, late 1990s. So. Yeah, it's only going to get better here, I think. Boy, I Every sure hope so. Every year it's getting better and better. So. I sure hope so. So uh, this is a pretty average trip for you in uh, May and June, right? Yep. And, they, yep. and they do last fighting into July. Yep. That's awesome. Yeah, they'll, they'll bite all spring here until July, and then I kind of slowly transition into striped bass fishing. So. Super, yeah. super. Yep. Well, we all had a really great day. Thanks for having us. Yeah, it's a uh, pleasure. We'll, Good we'll be me. back. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there he is again. That's a good one. Oh, man. Oh, whoa. He's got hydro brakes. <laughs> Puts his wings out. Yep. The old boot wing. Once again, folks, I want to thank uh, Captain Mike Fowler of Bad Dog Sport Fishing in Suset Harbor, Massachusetts, Cape Cod, and his fantastic mate Jim for a really great day out on the water. Uh, if you're like me and you miss the good old days of winter flounder fishing, this is a real shot in the arm. Uh, it's eight per person. We got our six-man boat limit of 48 keepers. I recommend it to anybody. Thanks for watching.